Those Gap commercials may have sparked a revival in this type of dance, but in reality, swing has been around since the early 20th century. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be learning all about swing dancing. Can you describe swing dance to us? A dance actually started in the 1920s. 1930s, uh, 1940s. A swing dance is a, a partner dance, a social dance, but you can also dance some jazz stuff on your own. It's an African-American vernacular jazz dance. So how did it gain popularity? So it started in uh, ballrooms in Harlem, mainly, in the United States, in New York City. This was just an expression of the time, kind of like hip-hop or, you know, b-boys doing their stuff is an expression of the time that we live in today. There were many dances, actually, at the time that sort of, uh, sort of originated from that. Uh, such as the Charleston. Of course, there were also some people who were influences of the dance, such as people like Frankie Manning, Shorty George. You mentioned jazz music. Um, is that the exclusive music to dance to with swing? You have different eras of jazz. So you have jazz from the 20s and 30s, but then you also have jazz from the 40s and 50s, which is not the same as jazz from the 60s and 70s. So we're able to dance now to music from the 20s and from the 70s and from the 80s and even neo-swing stuff from the 90s. Are there different styles of swing dancing? Often West Coast dancing is danced to, uh, you know, pop or or those types of musics. Sort of in the same family of swing as West Coast Swing as well. Uh, the style is very, very different because it's sort of fused a little bit with ballroom-ish type, type of a style. It's not very classic. It's not connected very much to the jazz, although the steps are very similar. Originally, um, there was uh, people danced to swing music and they just called it dancing. And eventually the media started calling it jitterbug. And that was kind of pejorative. It was an insult to call someone a jitterbug. So they started referring to themselves as jitterbug. So what we know as swing dancing or jitterbug or lindy hop, um, those are all the same. It's the same thing. And then what we, what we see today as East Coast swing or triple swing, those are just different names given to pieces of what is essentially the same kind of dance. Would you say that swing dancing is a culture or just a dance? People can enjoy it as just a dance. I think that when it started uh, reviving in the 90s, it was a whole culture. You had to fit in, you know, you all sort of shared an aesthetic sense, people shared a lifestyle sense, and it was sort of very retro, and I think that that's gone. So I know a lot of people who just like to dance. The community is actually pretty small in my opinion. People know each other, people are very friendly towards each other, we all hang out, and we just love the dance. It's just, we're really passionate about it, just great. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.